Well, I'm excited because we're back for another Fitness Friday, family friendly, and I'm glad I'm saying family friendly because today I want us to focus on community, your family, the pack. I, I think it's super important to understand not only to live with people, but also exercise with your, with your, I mean, when I, when these guys were kids, my main thing was how I'm going to keep these guys tired. You know, so that's when we started doing the rollerblades and the skateboards and the bikes and the swimming and the walking and, and all of that. So, I, you know, I, I didn't realize that the, how important that was. I did it just instinctually because that's what I do for dogs. But for my kids, it was very, very important for them to, uh, to stay exercising. Hey guys, welcome back to Fitness Fridays. Today, we're gonna focus on nature for one, right? We're outside in this nice, beautiful sunshine, beautiful weather. As you can see, we have our whole program set here. Caesar's already getting after it, that's great. But you don't need a gym to do that, right? Going along with nature, we wanna talk about relation, connection, and family. Caesar's about to do this workout with his two boys. The three of them are gonna do the entire routine together. Some exercises may be partner movements, some exercises may not be, but there will be a connection with each other and a presence in this moment along with all the animals here. You know, we've experienced that a lot, especially at Heart and & Hustle and especially to talk about a time right now where we're supposed to be separate. The gym is a place where you can come as a couple. You can come as a family. You can come as a group of friends, right? And when you're looking for that, what you're looking for is a connection or an energy with each other. Something that you're trying to build on, whether it's trying to forget your day, whether it's to have an hour to yourself, whether it's to feed off the people around you, this is what we're striving to create. I think for Caesar and what he believes in and for Heart and Hustle, it's beyond exercises, sweat, and naming programs. There's a deeper connection to the earth and each other. So today after the stretch, we went for a pack walk. This is something that we've been enjoying since these kids were little. That's something that I actually encourage people to do. If you are one of those people who don't have enough time, make sure you include a backpack for your dog. So the 30 minutes can turn into an hour just because your dog is carrying a backpack. It's the equivalent of literally carrying a vest you know, those work out best there, there's weighted. You're going here, just give me a hinge. 15 reps. Sees the next one, see it? Boys, you see it? The toes gotta be straight. We'll do 10 on a side. But we're gonna take the bell, keep our hips up, and we're gonna press with the bell for the chest. Number four, band of choice. Raise, just shoulder height, back down. Knees up, arms up. See it? Back to center. 10 on a side. Then finally, we got a jump rope, right? 50, many times the rope hits the ground, right? Then, 40 taps. So now the workout will begin. We just gave the descriptions of each part of the cycle and the exercises. Pay attention for more as they're going through it as a family, creating that connection. I'll be coaching and cueing and also giving you modifications for doing some of the exercises at home. Cheers.
Stay focused, baby. They're creating connection right now. They're having energy. They're feeding off each other. In my career so far, I've done this many times. I've done couples coming into the gym. I've done whole families coming into the gym. And it's like I said in the intro, they're not just coming for their sweat or their fitness. They're coming together to share a moment, have presence in their life, be here for us right now, being in nature, being in the sunshine, being in the turf. Too bad it wasn't grass, but oh well. But again, there's, there's a deeper moment than just getting your sweat on. And you'll start to see that as these guys progress further. Is for, he's contributing to the ranch, but let's go. Let's see it then. Let's, let's see it. Let's see it. He's bilingual, so if you want to hire him, it's definitely cheaper than me. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely coming to hire me. Put it out there. He's definitely going to prove that he can be the Latino dog whisperer. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So Andre and Calvin are going to do a mixture of a plyometric movement and a core movement, but most importantly they're going to do what we call a partner exercise. So now they're engaging, they're feeding off one another, and they're putting more effort and energy into the exercise itself. All right, everyone, to sum up the workout for today, you know, there's, there's no reinventing of the wheel or anything super special about the exercises or the workout itself, right? I like to stay basic. I like to add compound movements, leg movements, upper body movements, etc. can go on forever about that. The most important thing is you saw the three of them working as a family. You saw the animals around them engaging in the workout or engaging during the rest periods. That's one of the deeper things beyond fitness that we want to portray and we want to talk about. It goes along with the five body motions, right? We started out with our migration. We moved into our Dow stretching movement. We ran, we worked out. They are now resting and they're going to get a good night's sleep tonight, which you need to do too. But beyond all that, we want to create an environment for connection, for relationship and for a physical contact between family members, families and their animals, friends, and we want you to be able to realize that you don't need a gym to work out. You can work out in any setting and any scenario, whether you have people there or if you're by yourself. Go, baby. Oh man, it's always good to make sure the boys stay healthy. I think as a dad, the most important part is that your kids are healthy that your kids live by the code, you know? They, they find their spirituality, their pursuit of happiness, they live in the moment. They're, they are passionate about what they do. They give love and they receive love and 
being with the pack, I wish my mom, my dad, and everybody see us and they're part of it, you know, because for us exercise is not, it's not just a, a, a way of keeping our body in shape, but at, at the same time, it's, it's something that, that uh, in my culture, to bring the whole family together as a, this, the animals actually do everything they do is together. So I hope everybody enjoy and understand how important it is to do things together. You know, if it's exercise, it's exercise. But I think, uh, I, I think that the most important part is, is, is to be with the pack, to practice, to use your five body motions, to practice uh, pursuit of happiness, being happy, being in the moment, and love passionately and, and, and allow love to come in as well. So hopefully that inspires you, that motivates you. Make sure you do that with the whole entire family. If you have birds, bring them in. If you have cats, bring them in. Whatever you have, because everybody wants to move. Five body motions. Please yeah. like this video. Subscribe, uh, please subscribe. hit that like button. Let's hit go, Hit that baby. alert button, because so then you can know when we post new videos, all that stuff that those regular YouTubers say. Yeah, and if you love Junior, subscribe. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and join me on my mission of better humans, better planet.